Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your uh, second half of your June from the 16th to the 30th. You're going to apply this to your sun and rising Venus signs. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies um, regarding love in the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Um, this could be with anybody. New love, old love, current love. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, it suggests you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Sagittarius. Let's get started. Over energies for Sagittarius. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of June from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. We have the Three of Cups here. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. That's not the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Okay. Seems like you guys are giving up on looking for love. Seems like you guys are not finding what you're looking for out there. You guys are out there dating, meeting people, okay? But I feel like you guys are giving up at the moment here. We have the Five of Cups. I feel like you've been, you're being let down here. Or that you're just not, like I said, you're just not finding someone that you 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 uh, you know enjoy being around here with. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. And we have the King, uh, that's not the King of Pentacles, that's the, uh, the Emperor, Aries energy. Could be dealing with an Aries here. It seems like you're looking for an emperor here. It, it, I feel like you're looking for someone who, someone here who's going to give you that structure that you're looking for here, that commitment, that loyalty here. But I feel like you're not finding that because, like I said, with the five of Pentac uh, five of cups here, you're 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 disappointed. You're giving up. Um, so emperor Aries energy in the Ace of Cups here. There is someone new that's coming towards you in and around you. This is someone here who is a divine masculine, someone here who, who is gonna give you what you're looking for. Yeah, don't give up just yet. There is someone that's coming towards you, okay? So, um, you know, when this person will come towards you, uh, man, I'm just gonna pull more cards. I'm gonna say now until March, okay? So the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Swords. You know, I feel like the reason why that, you know, you guys haven't been able to find someone that you're looking for or haven't, you know... I, I feel like there is still some sort of pain that you haven't healed from yet. You're still holding on to some sort of pain. You're still holding on to the past and they feel like, you know, the important thing about this, if you're looking for someone new and you're still holding on to, you know, residual past energies, uh, there's no possible way that you could make room for someone new. Even if you made room for someone new, hypothetically, that came in, you know, I, I feel like, you know, a lot, you know, triggers will start coming up and it would cause issues here. We have the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Neil, Sagittarius energy. So this is you. This is you turning away from your pain. This is you not dealing with your pain here. So, you know, it's so important to heal. Uh, you know, if someone here is not healing and someone here is just looking for someone to heal their pain or someone here is looking to emotionally transfer, you know, all their emotions from a prior relationship to this new person, it's not going to work out because then you're setting yourself up for failure. You know, you're, you're going to have high expectations that this new person is going to be somewhat the same person as the other one. And, and, and then it's not going to turn out the way that you want it to. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. I feel like someone here hasn't, is not really doing the work to heal. You know, someone here could be avoiding it. 
Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I'm almost getting a self-sabotaging energy. It's like someone here wants to find love, but at the same time, once they find it, it's like they're unsure too. So the Emperor here. We have Strength Leo energy. Ace of Cups. And the Magician here, Gemini Virgo energy. This is someone that you're going to have a really strong connection here with. This is someone that's super confident, okay? Um... You know, I feel like this is an individual that's more confident than your prior person because maybe the prior person was a very insecure individual and they projected a lot of their a lot of their stuff onto you. We have the magician here, Gemini Virgo energy. You manifested someone. You, you're manifesting someone new, and this person will come towards you. So, like I said, uh, you know, I feel like you know this person might come towards you now until March. I'm gonna give it to, to that time frame. Okay. Um, Tell me about the person that uh, Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like someone here is, you know, has, has a history of jumping from relationship to relationship and transferring all that emotional baggage from a prior relationship to a new person, okay? So I feel like someone here is trying to replace someone i wouldn't say replace someone but more so bring the dynamics of a prior relationship to a new relationship yeah so you know what i'm saying yeah it could be a situation that you know this individual rushes the relationship so quickly once they jump into a new relationship they want to create that same dynamic as they had in the prior relationship so they rush it you know so so they rush it in a way they feel like they didn't lose it but in actuality they lost it you know what i mean so um let's see tell me about the person that sagittarius is dealing with here what is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards sagittarius sun moon rising Venus signs for the second half of june we have the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces the fool here oh, judgment in the reverse the world the two of cups okay whoa Someone here wants it next back, but someone here is trying to push this away. Someone here is realizing that their ex is their person here. But then I feel like someone here does not want to take responsibility for the pain that they caused someone here. So we have the Fool here and the Knight of Cups. I feel like someone here from your past might be coming back towards you, Sagittarius, okay? So I'm getting that there could be three people here. All right, maybe even four, because I'm feeling like it's a situation that someone here might be dealing with someone, maybe not, maybe like three, you and two other people, a new person and a past person here. Yeah, because someone here is thinking about a past person, but they are, this is interesting. Let's say Sagittarius, if you're dealing with someone new here, this person is not giving your giving their full history about their dating history or their relationship history. They might be omitting or taking out some people here, you know, because I feel like this is an individual that jumps from relationship to relationship to relationship. And I feel like this person doesn't really have that gap to, you know, be about on their own, introspect, self-reflect. So this person's going to tell you a lie and say, you know, I've been single for uh, two years, but in actuality, within those two years, this person has been in three relationships, okay? So uh, we have the world here in the Two of Cups. I feel like this person, someone here has unfinished business and they're trying to come back towards someone. They want an ex back. Yeah, someone here wants an ex back, okay? So, tell me about the Fool here. Tell me about the Fool. Knight of Cups. This is an individual that is scared to be alone. This is a very insecure individual. This person is very cowardice too. This is a past person here that I'm feeling that wants to come back towards you. And there is a new person that's coming towards you, okay? Now, this past person could be dealing with another person here, okay? It seems like they're committed elsewhere here. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. 
This person wants to try and come back towards you. So what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, if that this person tries to come back towards you, this person will keep you as an option, will keep you as a third party, and you will be the other person. So this person might manipulate you into, you know, waiting for them until they end the end the current relationship that they're in so that they could come back to you. Okay? So for you, I feel like you might be done with this person because I feel like this person is going to hurt you a lot. Okay? Tell me about the Six of Cups here. The Knight of Pentacles here, Cap uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Five of Swords here. This person wants to win you back. I feel. Judgment in the reverse. They're definitely looking for a reconciliation. Just so you know, this person that's coming back, this person is not single, okay? Just be careful. Nine of Pentacles here. This is an individual that might come in, kind of play it cool. Nothing happened. I didn't hurt you. I didn't do anything, you know? Um, tell me about the worlds. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is you right here. Or that this person has moved on to a new relationship, which is this Queen of Pentacles here. Because I feel like you're that Queen of Wands here, uh, 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 Sagittarius, okay? They moved on to a new relationship, but this person is still thinking about you and they want to come back towards you. And like I said, they're not going to make a clean break from this uh, current person that they're with. They're gonna put you, they're gonna keep you on the side to sort of make sure to see if they could seal the deal with you before they end that relationship. This is, this is a serial overlapper. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands here. This person started a new relationship. This person's in a committed relationship here with someone else. I feel like this person tried to replace you, but I feel like this person can't. Yeah, this person can't. Outcome and advice here for um, Sagittarius regarding their love situation for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does uh, Sagittarius need to know? We have the Five of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. We have the Tower here and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so the Page of, what is this? Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Tower here, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Nine of Cups. This person wants to come back so badly. But I feel like this person, like I said, this is not the type of person that would make, make a clean break from a relationship. This person's always lining up someone new, okay? Um, and just be careful. I feel like this person will come back. They will come back, but, you know, they're going to keep you as an option. Kind of string you along with the Eight of Swords here. Wow, this person's a liar, liar. This is so heavy. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. Um, you know, I feel like if you allow this person in your life, the truth of the matter is this person's just going to give you a lot of grief because this person hasn't really changed, okay? This person's going to try so... This person's desperate. It's, it's you know, since I started doing this, you know, I found that, you know, some people are just so, 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 so weird. It, clearly, this person's with the wrong person here, okay? But they still... want to be with this person and so this person lacks integrity okay this person lies to others and lies to themselves this person's not really honest this person's not really living their true authentic life because i feel like this person like i said someone here is scared to face their pain here this person's scared to face the uh, you know what they've done or, or how they've treated people so we have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This person lies. This this person is pretending that they're happy in a new relationship. They're really not, okay? The Nine of Swords here and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so the truth of the matter is, I feel like you know that if you allow this person back into your life, this person is going to mess things up for you, okay? So we have the Cherry here and the Page of Wands. Yeah, it seems like you're trying to avoid disaster and just stay, keep to yourself. Tell me about this emperor here. Why is this emperor here? Tell me about this new love here. The queen of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have your walls up with this individual here. You know, because I feel like you learned your lesson with the justice card. 
with the page of swords yeah i feel like you're gonna get information with this individual i feel like you're not gonna really completely dive into the situation with this individual but i feel like there is an emperor coming towards you so yeah don't give up and stay away from this past person okay so um sagittarius i hope that this was helpful hope this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye